Alright, now we're going to discuss how to set up documentation in a John Deere combine with a Green Star display. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to have your display in the combine and hooked up. And also, ideally, you'll want to have your header also hooked up to, in order to complete the setup. So, just start out. We want to go to our main menu and our green star and we're going to go ahead and set up documentation so we'll use our setup wizard set up documentation and everything else associated with that first of all we're going to set up our resources you're going to need your client farm and field also your task and your crop season as usual also, you can use your field locator from here if you're using boundaries. We can go to our next page, our machine setup. You're going to want to have your machine type, model, and name. This is where it's important to have the display in the combine in order to complete setup. As you can see, the combine is grayed out. That's because the display recognizes that it is in a combine and isn't going to let us set up as anything else. Um, we do need to give it a model and name from here. Connection type is always going to be front ridge and three point in a combine. You've got your uh, machine offsets so simply from your fixed axle, your front axle to your receiver and your front axle to your connection point. You can change those by going into change offsets. Entering those numbers gives you a diagram here. Also a written description of the measurements. If you have an offset of any kind, you can toggle that from left to right here. Typically that's going to be centered on any John Deere machine, so that can stay at zero. You'll want your recording source to be on auto. Again, that signifies that it's the display is talking to the yield and moisture sensor. We can go to our next page. This is where you're going to want to have your header hooked up. It'll recognize the implement type as platform or corn head. You'll be able to give it a name from there. Also enter an offset. This is where there's a few heads out there that are offset from center. You can enter that in your C dimension. A and B are measurements from the connection point to the cutter bar and the connection point to the front of the implement, which is outlined in the written description. down here. It's important to set your widths of your implement or your widths of your head. Implement width. We've got a 630 platform on here now so we got 30 feet. If you ever need to change this, this setting is actually done in the command center display. So if we want to go down here to the command center under your combine button. You'll want to go to the third page. Use your knob to scroll down to width. Bring up your keypad. Say we really had a 35 foot head. We could plug that in. Enter it. Now our implement width on the green star display has reflected that. I'm going to change it back to 30 feet real quick. Track spacing is how wide your auto track width is going to be. For cutting soybeans, you usually set this at about a foot below the actual cutter bar width. Give yourself a little margin for error. Down at the bottom, you'll notice we have overlap control settings and an overlap control on off. This is for basically your swath control of your cutter bar. 
divided up into five foot sections. You can manually activate these and deactivate them. Or with the override control checkbox on, it'll do it automatically for you. We can go to the next page. Finally, we've got our documentation set up. We'll want to have our operation on harvest. And then once we get that, we'll want to enter our harvest settings. In order for harvest documentation to work, you got to have a crop type and a variety. So here we've got soybeans. Variety locator, if you have loaded variety locator from, uh, from Apex, you can turn that on and off here. As you can see, we don't have any variety locator loaded on this particular display. So we have a message telling us that it's, no file is found. But if you do have variety locator, you should have no message there and be able to check the box to turn that on. Also, you can enter load names, destinations, and load numbers if you're using the load function of the display from the documentation page. And that finishes up basic setup of harvest documentation on a green star display.